Alright, so Jack Knife Action Duck Up and Radio Tire start to skid and move faster. Okay, well, I guess I won't read that. Um, right, so we have some problems now. I, I can't scroll. I can't scroll. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm, I'm constantly scrolling. This is what happens. They get one. Half of them don't even register anymore. Bro, the problem is this mouse that I have. It's a very nice mouse. Other than the scroll is not working. Uh. Thing is, they don't have a, no, a new one ready, available for me, <clears throat> which is a problem. Uh, I need to get rid of it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Immediately, we're gonna detach trailer. Thank you, trailer, for your work. I thank you for your service. And now, we are gonna head out. With our crane, and we're gonna see what we can, uh, what all we can find out here, and if we can get to the uh, the watchtower, and then eventually the the fuel station. You know, we do use a surprisingly low amount of fuel. Now this crane definitely adds some weight. But you know, we don't use that much. We should be technically fine. Now, that being said, we will also need to use trailers. So it's better to use the other vehicle that is waiting for us back home. But you know, that vehicle, I mean, it has to be bought over here and all, all sorts of problems with that one. Okay. For now, here's what we're gonna do. Not go there. We're gonna head up here. We're gonna snake in around. <coughs> Cause I might have missed out on like a very easy route to actually get into this uh, port area without having to first build that bridge. We will build the bridge. Don't you worry about the bridge. It will be built, but not right now. It'll take a little bit, a uh, little bit of doing, before that can be done. You know, just a little bit, not not a lot of doing, but yeah, a little bit of doing. Go down this country road. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a path. Yes, I'm not gonna give it the honor of being called a road. It's the, it's the path. We've engaged all of our technologies. Get us through the mud. And I mean, to be honest, they're working wonders. I am pushing through the mud. Okay. Auto gear me. Go. Spawn moving. Okay, this is a hellish turn. Kendall was made for uh, scout vehicles. Not uh, big boys like me. The hell are these green ass buoys? Lighthouse over there? I mean, they're buoys, is what they are. Why are they so green? They're made out of copper? Yep, okay, so this was definitely, there was definitely a path. Then. That I could have taken, which would have been not that difficult, honestly. So gear, differential lock on. <coughs> Stone and steady wins the race, buddy. There's another boat just waiting out there. 
no way you're getting a boat in through where I'm driving, not this river, it's too shallow here. But you can drive a vehicle through it, so there's that. Be honestly completely fine. Okay, auto gear. Just climb. Okay. There's mud wrestling. You can wait on that. The best option right now is to forget about the watchtower. We can do that later. There's no way I'm actually gonna get all the way. Yeah, okay. Forget about this. We're not gonna get to the... Oh, 29 liters of fuel? No way I'm gonna to the fuel station. They're going to have to recover. But... Now, before I do that... Can achieve something. All right. Struggle on over. Let's finish setting up. No, my PC, I will not be giving you access to all my information. Fogged by the sea. Forged by the sea. Launch an observation. It's so freaking bright. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, look at that. We scouted everything out. We got a ramped flatbed Ooh, with everything we need to build this bridge. The other side, forged by the sea. That is, there, there is something there. Now, yeah, but this is the bridge. So, no, this is very close, actually. All right. If <clears throat> you can grab this rammed flatbed and bring it back, I would consider that a miracle. But that will actually be. Quite a uh, quite a helpful thing if I can do that. I do like very much doubt it, and if it is not possible, then I, that's what I expect. But hey, you even get it halfway over, and that still helps us a bit because we're gonna have to suffer through, you know, back to Smithsville Dam, and then. Slowly slug it over here. There you go. Oh my god, the struggle is real, man. Put off AW to conserve fuel. You have to put it on again immediately. I think we are struggling because we are running out of fuel. That usually... ...towers the entire... ...thing. You yeah, see we are barely even moving our tires. Trying to conserve fuel, but get out of here. It's not really making much of a difference, is it? Nope. Two, one, and it's gonna be burned out. Boom. All right. Well, we tried. Fair. No, no, no. I mean to recover.
All right. Now, for you. I think we have the best available stuff. How about an extended medium winch? The added rope length may not be as impressive as that of scout vehicles, but still helps with crossing more barren areas. Or we can pay a lot more get high power. Pulling heavier trucks along with their cargo out of almost any tough spot. Advanced medium truck winch setup. Combining both extended rope length and improved motor setup greatly improves any truck survivability. So that's like that's what you want. You know what? I'm about to hit level 16. So. We have a saddle low, we put a saddle high on there. We can actually do the construction rig semi thing and get it over. Not yet. Not not yet. Soon. Oh very soon. No, oh, give me the sort of the heavy duty, give me the heavy duty pipe. Bro, look at this. It's crazy. And then on top we have twin horn beacons and fog lights. I would love the roof fog lights though, because I mean those those look like much bigger lights. Side thresholds. Currently we have the. Why why not have the tri square beacons, bro? I mean you can't get the small parking lights yet, so might as well. We have the wedge cap, we can get a muzzle now. Put a muzzle on there. Alright. So we're gonna wait a bit more. Look at all this smoke coming up, and it's just going out now. And we're gonna take the normal route. Okay. The most normal route anyone has ever seen. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go through the uh, through the other area, what's it called? Through the island lake. We'll refuel on over there as well. Then we'll head into the last new area. One way we're going now. Breathe our suspension. Look at our new freaking beautiful bumper. <coughs> It'll protect us against everything. Anything and everything. And I mean we have a better engine in here, we have all sorts of good stuff. It did us a few. Be enough to do. Get back on the road. Yeah, these little triangular lights don't look very nice. I would like like more of them. You know? The parking lights or whatever. To really show that we are we're we are cool, you know? We have our muzzle here. Popping the smoke straight up. Even this is not gonna hurt me, right? Just another day in the office. A little, a little more careful there. The ground is a little bent. I want to give it the wrong idea. What really sets this thing apart, I think, is always on AWD, always on differential lock. That basically makes sure that we can just go wherever. Be completely fine. Like, what's gonna stop you? You have differential lock and AWD always on. And you have like a, we have an upgraded engine too, so we're adding even more power to get the level 3 one. Suddenly we're gonna freaking zoom. What? 
bro. I hate you. That, my friends, is what pure hatred looks like. We're taking the other route. I'm sorry. You had your chance, you blew it. Out of sight, out of mind. I just can't take it. Feel like that? Again and again and again and again and again. That road is unsafe for human traversal. Alright? Instead, you will be taking this road. Okay, a lot safer. It might even be shorter, considering it is more direct. Now, it is through the mountains. But then that one was kind of through the mountains as well, so whatever, I don't care. The only thing is we have a bit of a turn here. That before we were going a little more directly. Well, we took 10 damage, but we did destroy that tree and we toppled over. I hate life. This is this is not not funny. I know you might think it's funny. It's not funny. I ain't laughing. All right. You can't see me laughing. My head, it ain't funny. Okay, give me a second. Alright, it's about literally nothing at all. Keep moving. Keep on keeping on. <coughs> Alright. Keep heading over. Okay, tire damage, suspension damage. Hate that. Pretty bad. Can I just reinforce my suspension? Like, just have better suspension. Because, like, the current one is, is garbage. The one doesn't do crap. Low gear it. Let's get out of here. Nobody's he's got all the time in the world. You can just low gear through this as well. No, you'll want to low gear it anyway. There you go, pretty perfect. Imagine if you would drive in this gear the entire game. Wouldn't that be annoying as hell? It would be extremely safe though. Driving so slow, like... How are you gonna have a problem? So once you get to the rocks and you get some traction, this vehicle goes inside. There you go. Let the trees live. Poor trees. Alright. A bit of a hellish road. Be ready for a little bit of hell, but... Push on over. Auto gear it. 
That's a tree. We avoid that. Crawl over. Go through this. This road is not that bad, honestly. This initial part is a little bad, but this is all easy. You can just drive through this, no problem. It's like a the summer drive, man. Oh, okay. Pick you, honestly. Okay, fake news. Who put the marker there? So I'm gonna destroy your damn signs. Gotta make better roads, man. Better suited to giant trucks. So what if this road is made for tiny scout vehicles? Every road should be made for the biggest vehicle in existence. <coughs> Obviously that's not the case, but whatever. Yes, yes, nature is important. I know that, the joke. You know, if I really wanted to, I could just head over to the, that place and buy a service trailer and just fix up my vehicle before going in as well. That would be a smart thing to do, we could just sell it after that. Just buy it, use it, sell it. What are you gonna do, right? Can't do shit. That would be smart money. Sliding through. Boom. Okay, I took more damage. This is pretty garbage. Pretty garbage. Okay, that's pretty garbage. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. Keep on driving. Rocks, no problem. This way to the tunnel. Why this side of the dam? Oh, right. The, the dam is in this map. I was like, what do you mean you can go to the dam? Aren't we in the dam? Yes, we are in the dam. But we're in the dam area. To go to the actual dam, you can take a different road. Which makes a lot of sense. Alright. So we're finally at Island Lake. Now we have to go through Island Lake to get over there. It's another trip. Truckers who drive for small businesses drive more than 3 million miles in their lifetime. That's a lot of miles. Do be, they do be driving a lot, huh? Now. Honestly, be smart. Scout fuel carrier. Yeah, just... Head over there, get your stuff done, prepare yourself and whatever, and then, and then we'll keep uh, we'll keep it moving, you know. <coughs> we'll keep the ball ro rolling. We are done with the uh, with the you over there. Turn around here.
Do you even have any fuel left in here? I mean, he did have enough. Just crazy. <coughs> Buy me a maintenance trailer. Then we're gonna repair. Okay. And then we're gonna refuel. Source maintenance trailer, target scout fuel trailer. Fill up as much as it wants. Then get sold. Full scout just got a full refill. Because I can't sell it basically. Then I would need a scout to be able to sell the scout. A trailer. But it is what it is. First person view. Alright. Zoom in through. No, no, god damn it. This is why I don't really go first person. It is much cooler being in first person though. Gotta give it the, the coolness factor is the... It's up there. <coughs> For sure. But uh, No. There are other issues. Be easy enough route and then we can actually start solving some of the problems that are there right like building that small bridge we got a trailer out of it too and we can start actually finishing some of the smaller missions taking them off you know we actually start working on this uh, that area <coughs> which is the whole point of going there so everyone is all the tasks are done all, all the money that can be taken from that area has been taken Okay, I, I thought that might happen when I saw the logs sticking out, but uh, whatever. That's why we went to the maintenance trailer before we left. Alright, now. Put a marker here, we turn there. We'll refuel a bit more. Now, we haven't used that much, I mean, we used 30 liters of fuel, so that's quite a lot, but. We will refuel whatever we can, then head back. We haven't really uh, used it a lot, so fine. I refueled the freaking trailer. Alright, did not mean to do that. What am I doing? I'm dumb. Should have done this the complete other way.
lights on. but we got it all right we keep it moving keep on keeping on oh bloody hell more suspension more tire damage just driving man I'll let it oh my lord I gotta I gotta be a little more careful man this vehicle is gonna just conk off if I'm not careful there is no like repair point where we're going you shitting me I'm not even going that fucking fast bro Like if I were going at like 50 miles an hour and you do that to me, I'm like, okay, yeah, I was going pretty fast. I'm not even. I'm driving slow as hell. Will you hit me with that? Great. Okay, buddy, come on. What? How slow do you want me to crawl for you? Okay, dumb and dull. Now I can actually start solving problems. Alright. Give me a second. Alright, let us continue. I should first think about where I'm continuing. Uh, where the hell am I? Stop showing with the where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Showing with that thing, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Uh, support local rangers. Start tracking that. Upgrade over there though. I'm into getting that. We can get logs from here or we can get a ready board ready ready board, ready made sideboard trailer full of the stuff we need. Take a drive it over there. Tourist attraction, I don't know what that is. Now that we know where I'm going. Let's do it. New trailer, sideboard trailer. Give it to me. Let's take it over. There's a little road there. I don't know, maybe it works. We will need like a uh, a proper route through this place eventually <coughs> sooner rather than later so might as well get to it While I'm here, I know it's empty. Can at least look at it, get the XP. Go, new trailer discovered. That's all I wanted. Can remove this leg of the trip. Fine. We already had ready made wood lying with us. We just avoid that little hole there. Hmm. 
So I, I, I thought I could just avoid that hole there. It's fine, the tree can pay for my mistakes. So where are we going? This way. Wait, wait, what, what is wrong with you? Don't you dare fall over, I swear to god. I will be extremely mad. What am I, I this is just all sorts of weird and wrong. What's happening here? Whatever, I got out of it. That was some crazy maneuvering. But whatever the case may be, I do have wood. This is what we need to build this bridge. I can stop using that diversion. There you go. Unload the planks. Build it. Not a very good looking bridge, but it'll, it'll do. Support local rangers. Wow, you made short work of that. Your bridge fixing reputation is well earned, my friend. I'll spread the word. Don't be surprised if folks with bridge issues start coming out of the woodwork. Bridge issues, I, I can solve them. Lost a delivery. Did I even take this mission? Definitely did not. Should have. Of bridges and men. Did I take that? The hell just popped up there. Appli crash dump. Application has stopped working. Oh! The game has stopped working. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. I gotta take a run.